Good morning everyone. Dad has just brought the heifers up to the yard here. So this morning they're getting their lepto jab and then afterwards, or we're just going to run them up the race there, uh, in the pit I mean, do them, jab them, and then they'll just come back round and then we're going to collar and tag them. And what I mean by tag them is they're going to get their cow tags. And Blake is actually coming out, he's coming out at 10, so we should be done the lepto by then. And he's just going to walk us through the steps of collaring them. Sort of got a couple of questions for them, so, or for him. I just wanted to make sure that we are doing it right when we put the new ones on, just around sort of entering them into the system. Once we, or once I do it once, I should be sweet, but I have done one the other day. I did that heifer that carved, and that was all right, but I just want to make sure everything's, everything's good, because I don't really want to do it twice, if that makes sense. It's just gone quarter past, and Melissa won't be too far away. Here's all the cow tags there should be 75 of them there's a massive cracking sound just up there so there must be a short in that fence but before I left the house before I was watching this little clip online and it was pretty interesting it was about the NASCAR in the weekend so there was a race in Chicago it was a street race normally they're sort of like oval shaped on the tracks but this one was through the streets which I think they do have a few of them on their calendar yes somebody might be able to inform me a little bit better on that but it was around Shane Van Gisbergen and he made his debut for NASCAR he's normally a V8 supercar driver and so they pulled him in for the race and he actually won it so it had been like 60 years since a debut driver had won which is pretty amazing like it is a pretty pretty hot field and maybe the street race sort of suited him a little bit better too but the main thing about the video was that it was just a video camera watching his feet and he was clutching when he was coming down the gears and the commentator said he'd be the only one in the race doing that so normally they don't use the clutch because they can use the sort of revs to to get in the in the right gear which was I thought was pretty cool he's obviously very talented very talented driver he's very good down here in the V8 so it is pretty cool to see a Kiwi doing doing great things when I was over in America working, I did the harvest over there, I was over there for about eight months, we were based in Kansas and before harvest had started there was a race over in Kansas City, which is actually in Missouri, well it's kind of on the border, but we went and watched a race, there's a few of us that went over and watched that and it was far more interesting than I thought, like you sort of sit in the stands and you can see the whole race um, going on at once, which was which was quite cool, so I sort of got a little bit more involved. I didn't like NASCAR before that, but after after watching it live, it was it was pretty choice. Oh, that'll be why Dad Dad jimmied this up, and <laughs> yeah, he's put a standard on the electricity, which is one wire over here, and it's touching the reel, which is hotting up this this top wire along there. That's where some crocodile clips would be really handy. So I'll have to try and find some and fix that up. Actually see it sparking on that wire there, that barbed wire. Well, that's kind of fixed it. It's probably not the best, best fix because they can rub their nose on that, but at least nothing's shorting out now. Melissa's just turned up again, so it's go time. But gee, some of these are bagging up. They won't be far away. Look at that one. Good udder on her already. Oh, and that one. Put you at the back, we'll draft you out. You're empty. You certainly look empty. No out of there whatsoever. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can go with your mate. And the last row. Just been doing small little batches. Worked quite well. This one, she hasn't got much of an udder, but I think she's in calf. She looks a little bit deep in here. I don't think she's empty. See, there's something there. Thanks for that, Melissa. No worries. Two days in a row. I know. Very easy, though. Yeah, they went really well. 
Yeah, again. Went through well again. <laughs> oh, I hope so. I hope so. The first one was. Dad's just changing the gates over down there so these empty heifers can go. I was wondering about that one, but nah, it's just so sunken in there. She's, I'd say they're definitely both empty. No point putting collars on them. Gonna do them through the vet race. I think it's gonna, probably gonna be the easiest. I've set a little board up here because we need to tag them. Blake's turned up. Morning, Blake. Morning, let's go. Good, and he is just activating these collars. So I've turned them all off and he's just turning them all on. So it's pretty quick once we get started. Well, we've made a start. There's another four down. It's our second row. Come on, Gilly Gilly. Looking very smart. We've got five up here in the race, which seems to be about the right number. Six is a little bit too tight. So next year, what I might do though is go through and tag them or put those cow tags in before doing this. It'd be nice if we could just, just do this by itself instead of tagging. But we'll knock it out today, live and learn. But we're doing to whack these collars on just like Blake's done that one and then he's coming through at the end and just punching what number we give the cow into the wand. I'll export it later into the Minder app uh, and then he just comes and waves that little magnet across the wand and he sort of pairs it up so it is pretty quick. 15 gets number 15. It's actually not going too bad. The hardest part with these collars when putting them on is just pulling the tail bit, this bit here through this little plastic. So that is to, to hold it there, but at least if it's that hard to, to get them on, you know that they're definitely not gonna come off. And I haven't had any yet that have, that have made their way off the cow. So because all these collars have been turned on, they've been activated, Blake's just waving that little magnet past the strip again, and that pairs it. See, it's really paired it to my phone. Wander and then you, you pair just like that, all done. It's the easiest way to do it, I think. Well, we've found, yep, that's another one. Pair, do another one. It's always a pretty hard case when they come out. I know they've got something on. Oh, they're not too bad. Oh, yeah, flicking its head around a little bit. Can't take them too long to get used to it though, because the ones down there, they're, they're pretty. Still, just standing there. <laughs> there we go. Yep. Boom, all done. So that was the last three. Time is just about quarter past 12, or just past actually, so two hours, probably started about quarter past 10, to do, what do we do, 70, 72. 72, so that's probably not too bad, what's that, roughly 36 an hour, yeah, uh, yeah 36 an hour up the, up the vet race and we could only sort of, sort of fit five or six, so that's, that's actually probably not bad going. It's all done now anyway, don't have to do them again. Have also pulled out another one, we think this one's empty too. Just doesn't look like she's in calf, so there's three of them now. But thanks heaps for coming out and giving us a hand, Blake. You didn't have to, so yeah, it was no uh, yeah much appreciated. Sort of just wanted you to show us how to do it. And we do now, going forward, we know what to do. It's pretty handy with the wand, eh? Yeah, it keeps it nice and simple. Pair it all together. And to be honest, with three of us, it was actually probably the right amount of people. Would have taken a little bit longer with two, but yeah. but that's but that's good. So actually, in about another week, you've got an update coming out for the True Test Collar software? Yes, the next Tuesday, so 11th of July. Um, yeah, got a, quite a big upgrade coming. Uh, so that'll bring a carving feature. So it'll alert you just after the fact that she's carved. Um, so yeah, send your phone notification, and we've also got our group reporting coming. So. so with the, sorry, with the carving one, it won't tell you if she's carving, it'll just tell you if she has 
Can yeah, so right? I'll tell you after, it's about three to five hours after she's carved. Oh, okay. Um, okay. I'll flick through a notification. Um, good thing with that is though, like if you get out to pet it, you've got three calves on the ground, two mothers there staring at you. Um, use that feature to go, well, who's the third mother? Yeah, um, yeah. Draft her out and obviously bring her into the shed, so. Yeah, that, that yeah. would be pretty handy. And we do have situations where we where we struggle to find the mother, so yeah, yeah, yeah. that will be so pretty handy, actually. Things like that's going to be awesome. Um, and then, yeah, we've got our group report function coming, so that's going to enable us to uh, look at the cow's rumination across the board and um, also monitor cows that aren't quite ruminating enough. So. It's going to be awesome um, once I've carved down, just making sure they get their rumination back up nice and high. Um, we know it's a pretty quick turnaround getting into mating for the cows, yeah, so yeah. yeah, we'll be able to monitor that quite closely and work with you guys on it. So at the moment, it's not just saying there isn't a rumination feature, there definitely is. Yeah, yeah. But this, this time, or this time coming, what's going to happen is we're going to be able to see in the individual groups that we have, or the herds, so we've got two herds, we're going to be able to see the average for the rumination, that's yeah, correct? Yeah, correct, yep. So for rumination, feeding, standing, all of those features, um, we're already monitoring them, but yeah, we'll be able to do some group reporting on them. Um, Which, that'll be pretty handy. Yeah, and put filters on too, like look at your bottom 10%, um, create a group off them, and you know, it's up to you guys how you, how you monitor them in the future. Yeah. Yeah, so, so it is quite a big update that's coming, and uh, we, we won't notice it. I, Blake actually said there's an email going out, but it will just come straight to the data link, which is on the roof here, and yeah, then, gateway, yep. then to the collars, or is yeah. it just to the data link? Yeah, so it'll update on our software, so obviously being cloud-based, uh, we roll that out through all the internet software and on your phone, and um, yeah, any updates with the collars, we send to the gateway unit up on the roof, and then we send it out to the collars, so... Joys of that, um, even if your collar's, you know, three, five years old, still got the newest software on it. Yeah. So it's pretty, pretty cool feature that. Yeah, that is looking forward to that one. It should be should be interesting. Yeah, nah, awesome. Awesome. No, thanks heaps. Girls are looking very snazzy with your new jewellery. Glad to have got that job done. I'm actually just putting them on this new grass. Hasn't been grazed before. And it is about ready though, because if you do the do the pick test, nothing's coming out, so I'm giving them a pretty big break in here. I actually just halve this paddock, they're going to get this half today, that half tomorrow, and when it rains I'm going to pull them out, but I just want them to sort of nip the top off it, which they should do because it is a pretty big break for them, there's only 70, 73 heifers in here now, for probably about 0.6 of a hectare, so they should be pretty happy in here. Man, I can't believe how, well I guess we are getting closer to carving, but some of these, some of these heifers are certainly bagging up pretty, pretty good. Won't be too far away. Blake was actually just saying before, before he left, that there's 14 companies that are selling cow collars here in New Zealand now, which does seem like quite a lot, doesn't it? Dad's hard at work painting the tank stand. Are well, you getting there? You haven't actually got that much left to do on that side. Getting there, yeah, it's just really, just this little bit in there, but it's looking way better. It's looking really good. I've just milked these girls, or the two in there that needed milking, and I need to treat that one with a messed plan, but I actually ran out of tubes, so I'm just waiting for Holly to get back from work. She's gonna pick some up on the way back. I also thought I might as well strike while the iron's hot and gave the vets a ring to see if they might be able to shoot out, or if someone was free to shoot out and PD those, those heifers there, but, What's today? Thursday? And no, no, everyone's busy today, tomorrow, so I've got to wait till Monday. And it sounded like they were pretty busy. The only time they could get us in was 9 o'clock on Monday morning, so that's, that's when I'll do them. I was just having a little look on Minder to see what the details of these heifers were, see what their mothers and their fathers were. And interestingly, two out of the three of them were some of that offshore genetics that I used, or their size were offshore. I know one of them was from the UK, and I'm not sure where the other one was from, but it, was, it wasn't New Zealand anyway. And uh, yeah, interestingly, two out of three of them are, are from that, so they didn't get in calf, which isn't good. I actually need to give Richard a ring and book a couple of those heifers in. We're just going to get them made into straight mints and sausages because we're all, no, we are out of sausages and we're almost out of mints. We do go through quite a bit with, with the kids. It's just super easy 
uh, meal options. So that's what's going to happen there. But it's so good to get those heifers done. Everything's lepto. Don't need to run anything back through the cow shed anytime soon. Well, until they, until they start calving. But Frankie's come to help me. We are just going to feed this, this little calf that we've got, and then that's us. Hey, eh? say hi to everyone. Hope you enjoyed watching today, guys. Give it a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. And apart from that, see you next time.